Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 spring and summer outfit ideas. I live in Australia and this month it has really started to heat up so I thought that these might be very timely for those of you who live in the southern hemisphere like me. All of the outfit details will be linked down in the description box below along with all of my sizing details and I will be sure to link alternatives where items are a little bit older in my closet and you're definitely going to see a bit of a theme this time around. There are a lot of warm neutrals and greens which is very different for me because usually I go for white, black and grey. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, don't you worry because I have you covered. I'm going to be coming at you with a winter layering outfit ideas video next weekend. Anyway, let's get on to those outfits. This first outfit is one that I wore just the other week and it is centered around these really beautiful camel cotton linen shorts from St. Agni. I'd been after something that was high-waisted but that also had a slightly longer length through the leg and these are it to a T. I kept my accessories very simple. I went with a cream colored slide, a white tank to kind of let the shorts shine and then a straw bag which is kind of the epitome of summer. I picked up these cotton trousers around mid spring and they have been such a brilliant addition to my wardrobe. I like the fact that they have an adjustable waistband. I've probably shared this outfit or at least a variation of it before as it has one that I know I've worn. I've got a short sleeved white shirt, this one I've had for a number of years and I highly recommend it. Again I've gone for slide sandals because they're the easiest to throw on and going for that straw bag as well. I like the way that that really dark forest green pairs with with the more natural elements. You can really see how I have introduced those warm camel colors and beiges into my closet with this next outfit. I've gone for a ribbed cotton tank. This one has a loose fit to it, which I find pairs really nicely with the more fitted silhouette of the skirt. This one actually has this ocelot print all over with a little ruffle hem, which is so cute and flirty. For my bag, I wanted to go for something a bit different, so I paired it with a off-white colored bag. I added this cotton knit tank to my wardrobe almost two years ago now and I absolutely love it. The color is just so rich and earthy and I think it makes really basic items look a lot more interesting like these white denim shorts from Arquette. On my feet I've gone for the ultimate ugly shoe, the dad sandal, which I know is not going to be to everyone's taste but these are incredibly comfortable so I'm all for comfort especially when chasing after a little one. I'm wearing that same tank again here that I featured a couple outfits back but this time I've worn it with a khaki green short and I think this just really goes to show that when you invest in good basics and really form a great color palette you are able to mix and match everything in your wardrobe. I've got my Jane Debster sandals on which are an incredible incredible dupe for the Saint Laurent New Pierre slides and again that straw bag which honestly I think I've mentioned this already but it is a total must in the summer. I've got two variations to share for this next outfit. The first one is kind of a casual day out and this is sort of what I would wear if I was able to put on something a little bit more fancy on top. I can't often wear silks but I do really love them and you'll see my love for this khaki green color coming through again here. I've paired it with an A-line denim skirt and some black sandals. These ones are really comfortable but with that T-bar detail I think it just makes them a little bit more interesting. Then to dress it up for the evening I've switched out the sandals for a black dorsey pump which I think are really leg lengthening and a lot more interesting than a typical court shoe and then I've thrown on a big oversized blazer this one's in a chocolate brown color so I'm sticking to that three color rule but I'm adding some subtle depth as well because it is quite a dark hue and could almost look black depending on the light but I just think it pairs really effortlessly with the earthy color of my tank the top is definitely the hero for this next outfit and it's really fun and flirty and I kind of wanted to dial that back a little bit so I went for a simple cotton short with a paper bag waist. I find this particular style very flattering and really easy to move around in as the leg holes are quite wide. On my feet a simple ballet flat. These ones are so incredibly comfortable. Highly recommend if you are looking for a cute shoe that you can walk around in all day and not get a blister in. And then my bag it adds a bit of texture. It has this mock crop detail to it. I love the nude color. It just really complements the rest of the tones and the look very nicely. This next outfit I put together with a special occasion in mind and it's simple 
but also I think really elevated. The top is definitely the hero and I love the fact that it has this flounce detail around the bust. It just makes it a little bit different and it's definitely the first thing that your eye is drawn to. I'm wearing those cotton trousers from earlier and I wanted to show how you could both dress them down and dress them up in this case. On my feet, because I wanted to really just lengthen the leg, I went for a nude sandal, one that doesn't have any straps around the ankle. And then I accessorized with pearls and also a little top handle bag. And then we are coming full circle back to those tan shorts I introduced in my first outfit. But this is a very different look and a very different way to wear them. I've gone with an off the shoulder top and a cotton poplin. And I love how this is very elevated and it feels like I've put in a lot of effort, but honestly, I haven't really. It's just a throw on piece and it works with everything. But what I really liked about this outfit was the way that there was a gradient. And not only that, the nude sandals, they really help to elongate the legs and just make them look like they're on for miles. So those were the 10 outfit ideas. I would love to know which of them was your favorite. Please let me know in the comment section below. As I said before, everything will be linked in the description box and I will have everything numbered so that you can find it easily. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me because I know this time of year is always incredibly busy and we seem to be a little bit more stretched for time than usual. Anyway, I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye. Bye.